guys and welcome back i don't normally do a review on this show because the show is just too ridiculous but so so before i went to bed i decided i'm going to go on and drop a little tea your way right quick about this show because i watched the show on wednesdays i don't know how i ended up watching it i was watching it just the uh past time waiting for queen sugar to come on but let me tell y'all something production has ruined the show because they are encouraging them to act horrible and it's not even a good look for anybody so first off let me tell you how i know it's production that's making them look horrible and act horrible they got cat running around like she done sold her soul doing anything i don't know if they done promised her extra money or what they done promised her but let's remember at the beginning of this show she already, when she first found out that Ryan and Rachel were together and Van was whining and crying to her talking about Ryan, he with Rachel and he just running the shop. Kat said, what did Kat say? She said, okay, Ryan and Rachel back together. I'm going to take care of this. She let us know from the very first episode she was going to ruin their relationship. She was going to do whatever she could to break them up. And what has she done? She broke them up. Did y'all not catch that tea? Yeah, and she done broke it, broke him up. And Ryan fell for it like any man, hook, line, and sinker. Now look what's done happened. But what I'm proud of is Rachel, even though Ryan didn't do right, and she making him own up to it, and she making him work for it, I'm glad she ain't letting some tack head tear her family up. Because as a woman, I'm going to tell you, that's hard to do. But when you got tack heads like Cat running around trying to destroy everything you trying to build, I'm going to tell you, that's hard. But I'm going to tell you why I put this on production. Because when they over in the DR, keep in mind, they show an a episode later that Lily and Junior get their little heart tattoos on their finger. No, baby. Pay attention to the... Because I'm going to drop you. Let me slide to the side. I'm going to drop it for you right here on this screen. They already got them tattoos. So that means a lot of this stuff that's done happened and happened before they even went to the DR. That's why Ryan up there saying... It's not going to be this kind of show. I done told y'all it's not going to be this kind of show. That's why they up there going off on producers and acting the fool. Because half of this stuff, before they even went to the DR, probably doesn't happen. Because they had already had them tattoos. And let me tell you, we all tatted, baby. I'm tatted all the way around, honey. And even if you get that little ring tat, you got to let that stuff heal before you be hopping in the swimming pool and in the ocean for your shit be oozing and turning green. So they done got them little pieces of tattoos healed up, peeled off, all of that stuff. Done. And if you look at their finger, you can tell it's healed. So that's been done. So production mentioned this show up. You encourage you to act a damn fool and be stupid. Got Ashley running around here looking ignorant. I'm so sick of her. They can take her and Kat off the show. She running around here. Um, Dunn been gone on the little trip 30 minutes. And she calling on the phone pretending there's something wrong with her baby. Girl, stop that BS. What's wrong with you? I'm tired of you looking like a fool and making yourself look stupid. You need to sit down. Better yet, find you an at-home job answering some telephone calls or something and stop running around here with your materialistic step self looking stupid. Y'all need to have a backbone about y'all self and stop letting production sell y'all out and making y'all supposed look. to be reality that is scripted. Cut that out. Have some respect about yourself or something because this... this it, I ain't never seen nobody so proud to say they a hoe like Cat is. You, what did you think was gonna come of what you told Ryan, sweetie? That's not like making Ryan look bad. It make you look bad. You don't want to look like a skank hoe. That's not no bad look for Ryan. It's a bad look for you, for you, Cat, for you. You running around here at home record. Let me go on and drop this on you. So tonight's episode, she all up in Lily face. Let's keep in mind that she already know Junior like Lily and Junior feeling Lily. But what did she go do? Because let me tell you, this is how Cat works. She looks, she sits around and watches and see who's in a relationship and who really feeling each other. And she worms her way into that relationship like a fungus and she destroys it. That's what she does. That's who she is. And I'm tired of her whining and crying, playing victim. Are we supposed to feel sorry for her with this Ryan situation? Girl, you ain't no victim. You was a side chick dot. Like Ryan said, Ryan said, you knew what's up. So what? He right. You knew what's up. You knew the situation. You knew the deal. And then you want to jump in front of the whole group and act like you was the main chick and he made you promises and wishing. Girl, bye. 
You knew what you was. You knew who the main chick was because you've been with everybody in the shop, but maybe Van and you probably, he probably done had you too. Next, you're going to be with Cobra and you're going to be with Junior. So, girl, bye. Okay? Bye. But y'all need to open y'all eyes up and pay attention because this every show on VH1 is like that. It's a lie. It's like supposed to be reality, but it's so freaking scripted and fake to me. So you have to watch it like you watching any other series. You got to watch it like you watching Empire or something. You can't watch it like it's real life because it's, it, it's, they have scripted it so much that it's not even real anymore. That They just take away Nikki. Nikki was one of the smart ones. They they done sit down and had a talk with Nikki and say, "Look, we need you to bring some drama." They done told her, they done told her what to do. They done coached her whatever and told her, "Look, you need to bring some drama. We can give you more TV time so we can cut you in on payroll. They probably getting three thousand to ten thousand dollars. Who knows how much it is? They gonna cut her in on payroll." Get her little checks, so and then she gonna try to bring unnecessary drama. I'm tired of Charmaine being a drunk thought. Tw- with her musty behind, she run around looking like her tail funky all the time, like she had bathed and brushed her teeth. She need to sit down, too, and get some business about her doggone self. She seems like she got a real good boyfriend, and she don't destroy it and stop being a loser. And the sad part is, it's like she could really be somebody and go somewhere. But she, she insists on being a loser, like... I have never seen somebody offered so many. I hate to see people offered opportunities and they just piss them away. Like, that's just such a pet peeve. Like, why are you pissing away opportunities? You you could have done a movie or whatever. Girl, you need to be like me and on a diet. Because um, you don't put on a good 40 pounds. Um, honey, I I share, I share start uh, vlogging my exercise plan for December, girl. You can go on a diet with me. We can diet together. I'm I'm trying to lose 60. You need to lose 40. We can be cute, cute bitches together. I mean, if you're going to be running around with your body out and butt out, you fix it up, tone it up. Don't look so stinking and roachy like, oh, Boy, hot dog water. I mean, girl, please. Y'all need to learn to get some. Okay, so the next thing, Ryan. I'm try- tired of them treating you like you a piece of old rotten cooter. They be running over you like you an old piece of gum stuck on the sidewalk, done got hard, been there 12 years. If you don't get your set together, they up there, they telling you what to do. Is this something we don't know? Whose shop is it? Is all y'all name on on the lease to the shop? You need to be letting us know. Like, tell the truth, Shane the Devil. Tell us what's really going on. Is are they? Is is that everybody's shop or is it, is that Ryan? What's your name? Ryan Henry shop. I done said it a couple of seasons ago. You need to call Caesar. Another Twitter, another somebody else tweeted it. You need to call Caesar. You need to call somebody. Tell them what you need to do to get control of your shop. Because all these people telling you what to do in your shop that ain't making enough money to call it their own shop. You need to. Cause it ain't no way you gonna try to ruin my relationship, and you gonna be sitting up in my shop cheesing. And carrying on and going to think you're going to be getting up out of your seat, running up in my face like, child, (laughs) not today, not today you won't, won't be running up in my face, running behind me. And I just feel like all that was production. I feel like production was like trying to get a rise out of him. They wanted him to act the food for drama. I don't know if maybe the show was dry. Wasn't nothing really popping, and they needed it popping, so they needed cat, and and I just feel like somebody was they was over there telling cat, just doing something, trying to just forcing her, telling her you know to keep egging it on because basically that was so fake to me. I feel like she was just egging it on. Maybe she need to get Charmaine some acting lessons because if Charmaine had acted like that when she did her little thing, honey, we'd have seen her in a couple of more of them carport movies that they was making that's going straight to the $5 rack uh, at the flea market because it ain't, them ain't even going to be in Walmart. But anyway, yeah, um, 
He gonna have to do something about that. See, that's what he had Rachel for. Rachel, Rachel was doing it. Ryan, go talk to Rachel because Rachel had to shop together. That's what you need to do. That's why you with Rachel because Rachel got some sense about it. She she know how to handle some business. She gonna take that shop and make some money with it. But when she was taking that shop, making some money with it, everybody else was whining and crying like a bunch of bitches and carrying on. Don't want you to make a damn dollar. No, no, no. Mm mm. Nah. -uh. Mm -mm. Go talk to your woman because she'll get the shop together, get rid of all them zeros you got in there, and add a bunch of ones and twos and tens and more tens in front of it and turn, turn you into some millions. And then you can be like Caesar. You can be spreading that, opening multiple shops. Hang with Rachel. Stop hanging with them thought bots, hot pockets, musty pockets. Okay? And then now let me get on Van. And let me tell you my issue with Van. Because I feel like um, we're going to take tonight's episode. No, last episode when Plug was there. What kind of Plug is he? We pulling up on the Plug or what? Anyway, I ain't even going to get on that. He walking around. He walking around like that. Get out the car. Get out the car. Dude, get out the car. What you doing? You backed up 10 feet talking about. But yet, had that been a woman, he'd have been all, he want to, and, and that's my issue with him. Van always want to roll up on a woman, run up on a woman, but you're not doing that to a man. You run up on them men, you know, like you'll run up on Ryan, but you don't run up on no, no, no guy. You'll run up on somebody little like Junior, but you don't run up on people you don't know. That, I don't like no, don't, I don't like no dude like that. That made me feel like you a punk, like. You too big and muscular to be behaving like that. Like you don't run up on a little small weak person that's smiling you, but you don't never you don't run up on no big dude. Or you don't run up on somebody that may be able to take you. Don't I don't like that. That's just so unattractive and just such a pussy. Like it's such it's so not a good look. It's just so mmm. No, no, God, uh-uh. It's just something about him that just don't sit right with my whole aura. You know how us Gemini's are? We got that aura about us. And it's something about Van that's off. Like, he, he seems like he a sweetheart, but then, like, the same, same that part of him, uh-uh. No, because he a hit a he a hit a woman type type of dude, and no, mm -mm. because them kind of dudes you have to watch, because them the dudes that like to hit women and push, them. and then if they don't hit women, they like to use their strength and body to uh, push them and pin them down, and they want to bump them with their shoulder and hit them with their shoulder. No, uh, uh, and I, no. Because, like I said, you want to try to pick on the little weak ones, people that you know you can run up on, and you can you you already know enough about them that you can attack people smaller than you, but you ain't going to run up on nobody bigger than you. I don't like no. No. Mm -mm. I missed Cobra the last couple of episodes, even though they, they do have a tendency to be mean to her. I like Cobra. I'm glad she broke up with that girl. I knew, uh, what was her name? Violet or Velvet, whatever the thing was. I knew she was fake and she was just there to try to get with somebody else. So I'm glad that's over with. And let's see who else is it that's worth talking about. Uh, Jen is, I like Jen. I like, I, I'm going to tell you what I did like. I like Nikki, Jen, and Ashley together. They good when her mouth is shut. When Ashley's mouth is shut, they good together. They all good together until they let producers encourage them to be ignorant. Like when Nikki messed up that moment on the beach with, um, four, she shouldn't have never done that. Don't let producers ruin your relationship, y'all. See what's done happen to Kirk and Rashida. Don't let them tear y'all apart like that. Don't, it's not worth your family. Because at the end of the day, when this show is over, because it's not going to go on forever, you need your family and you, it, you don't let them ruin it. Don't let them take it from you. Because this show only going to be good for so many seasons. Because this one already is on, on the third season. It's about to fizzle out. And they already got y'all jumping around like a bunch of monkeys. Jumping through hoops. Trying to keep the show going. Yep. So, um, and so the last thing is. um, I'm trying not to cry. 
prayers for Don and his family. It it was real just sad what happened to his sister as someone that deals with depression. It's there there's like no words to There's, I mean, it's it's no words other than just prayer for him and his family. Um, I've seen some comments. Um, people saying they hope he's not selling out and he didn't sacrifice his sister. I've seen those in a couple of chat rooms tonight. And I do pray it's nothing like that. I just, I don't feel like it's anything like that. I mean, if... We see that that happens. I'm going to be so floored if that happens. Like, I'm just going to be floored if something like that really happens. So, I hope that isn't the case. I just don't feel like that's the case. I really don't. But anyway, prayers to he and his family. And I hope since the recording of this show that he is doing okay and he's dealing with with the loss of his sister. I don't know what I would do if I lost a sibling. Like, I can't imagine what he's going through. So, prayers for him. Because this is really, I'm not into the cast like that. Like, the show is okay, but I don't follow them outside of the show like I do some other shows. Like, if this is Real Housewives of Atlanta or a Bravo show, then I'll be following the members um, on Twitter or Instagram. But since this show is so unclassy and so scripted, I don't follow them on social media. Um, so, but yeah, I pray everything as well with that. So, that is all of my review for this show. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon beside it so you can get notified when I upload hair, videos, hauls, or um, TV show reviews. Shout out to Gina. We've been rocking together ever since she created the group. Um, I've been out for a minute while um, I had a heavy workload, but I'm back now. And shout out to all the other group admins. K, you know, we go back, girl. I'm back. <laughs> I haven't got to talk to you in a while since you had the baby. But anyway, I'm back. So, um, Miss Georgia, if you're still in here, we still talk on Facebook and when you post stuff here and there. But, yeah. So, I'll see y'all later. The next show, the next cup of tea, we'll be on the in the group replying and keeping it going. So, I'll see.